Humankind throughout the ages has constructed monuments intended to last millennia. Pyramids, palaces, and temples. The physical manifestations of our dreams and legacies, immortalizing ourselves in our art. At Burning Man, we burn all our great monuments to the ground. Imagine, deep in the deep lie, a crumbling portal surrounded by rubble, solid and ancient and immovable, until you touch it, and it squishes. Embrace the sensory dissonance, the appearance of solid, ancient, permanent stone ruins juxtaposed with all the soft, squishy bits. Ask yourself, what is even real anymore? What is real and permanent about this week-long party in the desert? I don't even know. Is it the art and costumes and music? Or perhaps all of that is merely a portal into another way of thinking, communicating, and interacting with the world around us. <laughs> I'm Helen McCarthy, and I am a scenic artist for film and theater, so I make pretend things f for pretend people. Hi, I'm Lillian Berman. I'm a fine artist with a specialize in illustration and abstract painting. And I'm Alex Phillips, a maker from Sydney, Australia, with experience in varying levels of art fabrication and event production. And we're building a monument out of foam that pokes fun at the ideas of permanence and ego and art. It'll be a quiet place to lounge in the desert, but we also have hopes of reviving it for local festivals like Figment Boston and First Night. A lot of my inspiration for ACT came out of my experiences working in film and theater and event production, where everything ends up in the dumpster after. So we're going to use as much repurposed materials as we can get our hands on. Already one company I work for, VDA Productions, um, which is a design, production, and marketing agency based in Somerville, has donated a bunch of materials to us. And this is all through their repurposing initiative, which is a great project that gets all of their excess materials into the hands of makers and artists like us. And while we're going to be reusing and repurposing a lot of materials, we still have about $5,000 worth of costs for materials that we're not going to be able to get repurposed. We're going to have about $2,800 worth of truck share costs as well, because we need to get this from Boston to the playa. And we're going to have about two stretch goals. We're going to have two stretch goals. We're going to have a soundscape element, which we'd like to add, as well as we're going to have to transport it around the playa. We're hoping to rent a truck. Supporting our Kickstarter will earn you our eternal gratitude. Which is cool, but it also comes with swag. We have stickers, medallions, keychains, as well we'll be taking photographs of ACT in the plier, and we'll be making the prints available framed and unframed. We'll also be carving our undying gratitude into stone for you. Squishy stone. But really, we won't make it out there without your support. So thanks so much for helping us get ACT to the playa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.